All right, here we go, guys. 2020 Prism and Mosaic Blaster Football. 20 Blaster Box. Pick your team break number four. 10 Prism Blasters, 10 Mosaic Blasters. Everything in this break will ship. Everything ships from all 20 Blasters. 10 and 10. Some good freaking luck, man. Wow, 2014 Prism World Cup soccer case, $75,000. What's their highest price thing on their website? 1819 Prism Basketball, 12 box case, Luca, 100 grand. 1819 Prism Choice Basketball Cases, $79,000. At one point, I remember having several of those. Well, I guess at one point, I had several cases of 1819 Prism Basketball on hand. Man, I had, yeah, I probably had like six cases of that at one point in time. Imagine that, six, $600,000. Oh my God. Oh my God. And the real winners in all the prices, like, you know, box prices and case prices going up, is anybody that has inventory of it. So, Blowout, Still City, Dave and Adams, all those big time re retailers. 2020 for them, they might as well just close up shop. I mean, it, I, I'm sure they made millions and millions and millions more than they did in prior years. Millions and millions. James Morgan Mosaic for the Jets. Millions and millions and millions. Denzel Mims for the Jets green. Joe Burrow, mosaic base for the Bengals.
Jalen Rieger, Mosaic for the Eagles. Lamar Green. Zach Moss for the Bills. Sounds good, man. I'll put in the order. Silver Claypool debut for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Clay Chase Claypool green debut for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Patrick Queen green. Joshua Kelly. Evans, Mosaic Prism for the Titans. Bowden Jr., Green for the Raiders. Evans.
Cam Akers rookie autograph for the Rams. Silver, Patrick Queen for the uh, Ravens. Nice. Claypool, rookie green. Rugs, green. MVP's green. P. Ryan, not a whole lot there. How much are they selling 19, uh, 1920 prison basketball and hobby boxes on their site for? They, I think they had them up there before for like 50K for a case. Nice. That's going to be my flip of 2021, baby. I bought a case of, tw dude, I bought a case of prison basketball, uh, hobby, 1920 hobby, uh, months ago. I've had this thing for months. 23K. That's my best flip ever. Well, I have to sell it. I'm trying to figure out the right time to. Don't want to sell it too early, man. And I ain't going to tell my wife. She ain't going to know. Neither do I, Zach. But I mean, that's thirty k. Fuck, that pretty much. I mean, it doesn't quite pay off my damn truck, but I guess it, it would definitely pay off the lease if I wanted to pay off the lease early or something. But and that's crazy money. That's like that's like that's unreal to buy it. You know, to buy something for that price, wait a couple months, and now it's worth fucking more than double. Don't want to spend it, man. I need some Javon Carter cards. Yeah, well, it's one of those things where, like, Derek Brown, Silver, some of this stuff, it's honestly, like, hard to even break it. Because some of this stuff goes up in price, like, it, you know, just for for the sake of using round numbers, uh, something comes out, uh, you know, right out of the gate, it's a popular product, and it's ten thousand a case. So I'll be breaking it for you know, right around that ten thousand a case, and then people that first you know week or two. Uh, everybody's breaking what they got allocated, right? They're breaking it, and then after a week or two. Okay, well, if people want to buy more, they got to go out and get more. Well, price goes up if everybody's trying to get more. And that happens with like almost everything. P. Ryan Green, 
So it's like it's almost kind of hard to even break stuff on release day anymore because it's like, man, I know this stuff's going to go up in price. You know, obviously, I'm not trying to nickel and dime everybody for every damn thing. Obviously, you guys know that. But at the same time, I, you know, I need to maximize my earnings as much as possible, just like anybody else in the damn world. But yeah, it's like everything goes up in price. It's almost like buy something on release day, give it a couple weeks. Price goes up, sell, rinse and repeat. <laughs> Thanks, Squints. Damn. Yeah, but I don't think of it like that. I don't really think of it. I don't think of it. I, I never look at that. Like... I, I did do that a little bit earlier whenever we were talking about that 1819 Luca Prism basketball where I'm like, man, I had like six of those cases. That's like 600 grand. But I'm not even worried about it because at that point in time, that's how much they were going for. I sold it. I made a margin on it. I'm feeling good about it. Of course, if I could somehow go back in time, I would have, you know, bought up as many of those as possible. Everybody would, but. I can be, I can do whatever. The classification of breaker, I mean, I do pretty much everything that, you know. Yeah, I don't think, I really, I think really those terms could be used interchangeably. But yeah, if I'm if I if I switch it and then I'm not breaking anymore. Yeah, if you're saying like, yeah, if I instead of breaking it, I just hold it, wait till the price goes up, and then resell it. Yeah, that yeah, then I wouldn't be breaking anymore. That's not what I'm gonna do. Um, that would be stupid for me to do that. Um, but I'm just saying like, it's just crazy. It, ultimate, ultimately, the point of that me saying anything about that was just the fact that it's just crazy because it's just these all these products and supply and demand and price going way up on stuff and it's just like you know be in the right place at the right time a couple times with these sports cards and then like i said i just like i with that prison basketball case you know when, when, whenever i go to sell it i'm going to be you know twenty thousand plus in the profit which is totally ridiculous and shouldn't be the case but but some people do do that i mean their premise of their business is to like now i've seen some people change to where they were they had you know a card store or maybe a online a smaller online you know store like or maybe they sold on ebay boxes and they didn't break them but they got them and then you know they have an online presence whether it's through their own website or ebay or other places and uh they're just kind of dropping off from even doing that and just saying screw it and uh there's no point in going through ebay and doing all this and that whenever they could flip it to breakers this is what's happening a lot hurts they could just flip it to a breaker and make more money and not have the risk of like a charge back or something on ebay or whatever so There's a lot of variables, but it's too late to get into that, I think. What time is it? 4.04. Edwards, come on, man. We need something. Jordan Love. All right. If these prison blasters don't give us something, man, I'm going to scream. But the problem with that is, is whenever, you know, it's the same thing with what I was saying, if I was, you know, wasn't going to break it, which that's not what I would do. But then, um, 
what was I going to say? Oh, then whenever, you know, the market may not be as hot. You know, whenever the market may not be as hot, you know, maybe maybe next year or even this year or something, market starts to cool down. I don't want to say it's inevitable that that's going to happen because of, I don't know, like I said uh, in uh, previous live streams, uh, it's a possibility that we're in a bubble, but it's also a pop possibility that maybe sports cards just finally kind of did a market correction and stuff was selling way too cheap before and now it's more of a market correction than a bubble. I don't know what the answer is to that, but either way, you know, whenever the the hotness runs out, if that does happen, then you know, the business that you built, however you build it, selling it, whether it through breaks or through eBay or your own website or whatever, then whenever there's no, you know, breakers or whoever to sell it to that way, then what are you going to do? You could resort back to your old ways, but then you got to build that following all the way back up. All right, here we go in the prism, guys. See what we got. Yeah, I know, man. I don't know what's up with these. Herbert's been like crazy Herbert and uh, even with like Tua and Burrow I mean we're only getting like maybe one one or two and 20 blasters is kind of crazy Feel you, man. That's a Jersey card. You're gonna get one, Maddie. Yeah, you definitely need to get. You're, you're dead. You, we're gonna get you one. All right, see, what we got Prism, Jennings, Laser for the Patriots, CD Lamb, rookie. Alshon Jeffrey Silver, Zach Moss, Judy Laser for the Broncos, Denzel Mims Jersey, Premier Jersey for the Jets, Blue Deontay Johnson. Are these? Uh, is this similar to the red? Does anybody know the answer to these? I didn't look into it. I guess I should look into it, right? I'm the one selling it. Deontay Johnson blue. The blue and the reds. What's the what's the rundown? Oh, Zach. I haven't done any prism this year. I'm just not a fan. SP is all. All right. Willie Gay Jr. Laser. Tua. Prism base. This dude. Bit of a print line on it. Silver. Sorry, Zach. I still like you, Zach. Rugs. Laser. There it is. Not bad, too. I feel you, man. That does suck. That does suck, too, for Jalen Johnson. All right, so we already got a couple boxes in. We already got a Tua. We already got an SP. We got a Herbert prison base. A couple of nice uh, lasers. Starting off strong, starting off strong. No, nah, man, I feel you, man. You know, you can't get into everything. You go broke doing it. Every single product that comes out, you got to get your team. And, you know, is. I feel like that creates a lot of anxiety, kind of. 
within the hobby a little bit. Like the hobby is so great for a lot of things. Don't get me wrong. I love this hobby and there's so many good things about it. So many good things. But like the fact of all of these products coming out all the time and then like wanting to like get in on breaks and it, it and then like, you know, prices are high and there's new stuff coming out every week and you don't want to miss out on this or that. It creates a lot of anxiety, I feel like. How much are the lasers going for, Herbert Wise? Raw. No, the blue's not numbered. Or at least I didn't see any numbering on it when I looked at it initially. Nice, man. You've been doing that pretty consistently. Hamler, laser for the Broncos. Kerrigan, silver. Piran, laser for the Jets. Henderson. Fulton for the Titans, laser. Baker. Silver. Noah I for the Dolphins laser. Pinkney. Laser is 200 raw. What about PSA 10? one
Some people do cookie, or at least try to, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I know, I know the feeling. Bad internet's the worst, man. Bad internet's the worst. CD Lamb, Prism Base. Eason for the Colts, Laser, nice. Thomas Silver, Bowden Jr. Laser, Brandon Ayuk, Laser, San Francisco. I saw the Dolphins, I thought it was going to be a two of them. Jalen Hurts, Laser for the Eagles. Yeah, that's the way to go, man. During the off season, everything's lower. Buy it up in the off season, sell it either right before the start of the season or you know, let it get into the season a little bit or even if you want to try to hold it out a little bit longer, or what, you know, whatever. Buy it up in the off season, flip it either right before the season starts or in, somewhere in the season. As long as the player doesn't get hurt or something catastrophic happens, I mean, it's pretty much easy. Everything has kind of a, a a bit of a you know shelf life if you want to call it no not shelf life but, you know uh, even with certain products too like um, certain things are better to just to hold off and wait and uh, buy if you're if you're looking to buy singles for instance uh, like Prism we're breaking Prism for instance so I'll talk about Prism. You know, if you're going after a rainbow or going after a certain uh, player or whatever, whenever it comes out, as soon as it comes out and th throughout the next, you know, several weeks, if you're looking for numbered stuff, load up on the numbered stuff immediately, right? Load up on the numbered stuff immediately. As for silvers and base and, you know, more common stuff, lasers or whatever, uh, non-numbered stuff for the most part, I suppose. It's better to pick it up in the off season, you know, with Prism. Prism comes out during the season. So if you're looking to stock up on a whole bunch of silvers and stuff, of course, you know, obviously the player's play dictates that a little bit too. But for the most part, load up on the colored stuff immediately. Everything else, non-numbered stuff, wait for the off season. You still obviously get numbered stuff in the off season, but it, certain ones only pop up, you know, so often. Can it be, uh, I was thinking just breaking though, without buying, selling, oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, like, I think, uh, I think if you played your card rights, cards right, you could, but you, you gotta have a little bit of luck on your hand, that's for sure. But I think overall, yeah, like if you were buying, it had, again, it has to be certain things, like, I mean, maybe you're getting in on draft, pick your player cases for a certain player or whatever. But yeah, like it's, uh, it, it's definitely would be difficult to, to make, to make it worth, worth your while. You know, it, it, 
difficult. Car, silver. It could definitely be done where somebody can make, you know, some wages off of this, you know, consistently long term. But with the bubble, so-called bubble that we're in right now, I mean, a couple years back, I don't know if that's really true. I mean, it, even with how the how cheap prices were a couple years back, I mean, probably be pretty tough. James Morgan. I think I think with certain factors, you know, breaker prices and things of that nature. Ooh, nice Jefferson laser for the Vikings. I would say though, if you had a hundred people trying it, probably ten percent or less success rate. You know, if you had, I don't know. I'm just rambling off shit at this point. What time is it? Oh my god, it's almost 4.30. I'm way off. I, how long has this break been taking me? Oh, it hasn't been taking me that long. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Last uh, couple of blasters here. So technically, Mike, if you doubled up, because you said 43 minutes, but you, it was only one break. If you double that up, you'd be hitting it. Yeah, there you go, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very difficult. Yeah, very difficult. Hasty. Chase Young, Prism Base. Keenan Allen, Silver. Come on, man. Warren, Laser. Duggar, come on, right here, man. Here it is, something. Dobbins, something. Something, last one, something. Again, a silver. Winfield Jr., Justin Jefferson, jersey for the Minnesota Vikings. Jordan Love, prison base. I haven't watched it, but I heard about that. See you later, Mike. Appreciate you, man. I really do, man. I hope you have a wonderful... A uh, couple of days here while I'm off. Hopefully a good end to your weekend and a good start to the next uh, work week. Goes for everybody in here.
Yeah, I want to know. That's what I was saying. I come from a background. I come from an, uh, a little bit of an audit background. Worked a couple years with a uh, uh, regional bank here in PA within their internal audit department. So I kind of have a little bit of that just kind of thinking, kind of inbred in my head a little bit right now. Or in, not inbred, ingrained in my head a little bit. And yeah, I'm thinking like, what kind of audit processes do, like, there's got to be something. Needs to be some sort of audit process to keep the integrity of that in place. I'm not saying they don't. I mean, I would I would imagine they do. But I mean, Panini they are a publicly publicly traded company, so they have to have certain controls and stuff in place over financial reporting. So they have to have that kind of stuff going for them. So I would imagine they would have some sort of internal controls over that too. But shit happens. Yeah, but it has to be transparency is huge and that's what we don't get that's what i was talking about earlier the one thing that we do not get in this hobby from anybody it feels like is transparency and even ebay ebay now and you know i'm i'm whenever i said that initially i'm talking you know panini and tops but even like other people that are within the hobby like ebay ebay's trying to do that where uh like take away the like historical data to find you know prices on and that goes for far uh, more than just cards more than just sports cards but they're trying to do that where they're blocking it where you can't really look up historical data on uh, listings and stuff but yeah but like panini and tops whenever they make errors like i was talking about the the, the bowman paper issue that everyone's having with the uh, 2020 bowman draft paper tops isn't going to say anything no one's going to say anything and then it's just it's just it is what it is but no one can come out and just be transparent about what happened and give us some answers. I don't know. Tua base, Herbert base, Deontay Johnson blue. Here we go on some of the mosaics. Patrick Queen. Claypool silver, Claypool green. Joe Burrow. Jefferson jersey, Mims jersey, and an Acres rookie auto for the Rams. Prism and Mosaic Blasters, number four.